What's up guys, Chris here and welcome to episode 8 of LXG Iron Eye. And that there is 68 fishing, which means we can now go into the fishing guild. And that's 58 herb lore. And that is now 59 herb lore, which means we can now um, make the super strength mix, but we can also clean the snapdragons that we've got in the bank, which is good. 60 herb lore. Oh my god, I've just come back after uh, AFK fishing and finally... Finally, we've got the big swordfish. I'm so, so happy about that. It has taken so long to achieve getting it. Um, if we then go and bank everything here, and we can see we've got 2,288 swordfish, which means we are actually below the rate, so we are quite lucky. But, you know, I'm just absolutely buzzing that we got that here, that we got it so nice and early, and we don't have to carry on doing swordfish anymore. So, on to the next fish. And that's 44 cooking. 45 cooking. 46 cooking and that's 61 herb law which means we can now make magic essence mixes which is not very useful i mean we could boost to get to um what's it called to do the snapdragons i think uh no it's potions isn't it i think it's 63 but i haven't got many red spiders eggs to be fair so probably not worth it and as a daily reminder, any Iron Man out there, make sure to collect your sand from Bert here. I just decided to um, go around and build some of these stash units, to be fair. And I believe building this one will now give us a level. Yes, yeah, so we're now 34 construction, which means we can make the large oak bed and many other things, which we probably will not make. But that's not the point. Um, yeah, so we're just going around building all of these. And then it means in the future when we do the easy clue scrolls, I don't have to worry about trying to find it or getting all the stuff, so I just thought that'd be easier. So, yeah, I'm just going to carry on building these. I won't do all of them because there's a lot of them to do, so I, I will have to finish them another day, but it's a good start. And there's a surprising level. We actually got 72 Hunter, which means we can now do nothing new. But, um, yeah, we're very close to being able to catch uh, Ninja Implings. I saw one earlier. Uh, we could have boosted for it, but unfortunately I um, haven't gone and got some i think they're called uh cabots or something you have to get the teeth of them to be able to make them with some aventos and to be fair we want to make uh super energies with the aventos really we don't want to be wasting them on hunter potions but yeah it was a bit of a shame another magpie impling caught and another piece of rune we've got a rune warhammer which i have a feeling might be used for a clue scroll in the future so that's a very good drop to be fair and we've completed another beehive event. What will we get from it this time? Is it going to be more flax or can we get an outfit piece? <gasps> we do get an outfit piece. We get the uh, beekeeper mask. So, uh, yeah, that's looking good on us. After uh, getting the big swordfish, I decided to go fishing. I tried the um, fishing on Mulch Island because we do need a golden whatever kind of fish they're called. But it's very slow XP, so I didn't feel like doing it. There we go. We got 69 fishing there. Um, yeah, so I didn't really know where else to go fishing. I mean, we could have done something like more tuners and that, but I just thought a quick way to do fishing is obviously uh, fly fishing, raw trout and salmon. The other one you could do is barb fishing, but I want to get some low food for when we go to Winter Todd that we have loads and loads of fish to eat. Because I don't know how it works, because I've only ever done it when I've been a high combat and you've just chomped through jogs of wine doing that. Um, so yeah, we'll try it on this low account using raw trouts and salmon once we get to 76, 76 fishing. Um, so we've got a few more levels of that to go. We've got four more levels of farming to go. Um, we've got another 14 levels of herbal to go, which is, um, yeah, that's a bit more than all the rest of them. But I think after that, oh, and the four levels of mining, that's another long one. But after all of those ones, we can actually begin Winter Todd. So we're getting there. And that's 82 farming, which is a great level, because basically now the next job is basically to go and make some garden pies, because that will allow us to boost in order to get to the high tier of the farming guild, which means we can now do high contracts, which just means we'll get better seed packs, really. Um, yeah, so we'll go and do that now. So we're going to have to collect a lot of uh, onions, cabbages and tomatoes. Hmm, fun. Another magpie impling core. And this time we got some more black dragon hide, so not bad. So I continued on with uh, nature spirit until we got to the point where we've um, basically unlocked the sickle imbued or whatever it's called. Uh, it's called the silver sickle bee. Um, and what we're going to do with that is basically keep teleporting to here and back to 
uh, RD to get more prayer, and then um, to castle walls to bank and back again repeatedly until we get a load of these fungus. Um, all I bought was however many soul runes I've used so far, so I think it was 120, which gives us about 60 trips to here. Um, because this is the quickest way for me to do at the moment, because doing the, uh, what they called, the sully cap trees, you don't get them very often, and also it's quite difficult as the swamp monster hits sevens consistently, so I need better food to be able to actually feasibly do it even. Um, but yeah, this isn't taking too long to be fair. It, the trips are quick because I haven't got much prayer at the moment, so I use a lot of it up quickly. Um, and yeah, we'll come back when we've got enough to get some herb lore levels. Oh, I almost forgot. We also got a magpie impling on this trip. I found one when I teleported in, so I went and got it. And from it, we're going to get some mystic gloves, which is a great upgrade. Um, yeah. After collecting about 260 of them, uh, we've now got a herb lore level. So a 62, which means I think we can now put the snapdragons into potions or something. I could have sworn there was something at 62, but it said nothing, so maybe not. Um, but yeah, one more level till we can make super restores. And it looks like we're going to get an elite task done here. So if we use that on that, we should be able to make battle staffs or staves or whatever they're called. Yep, there we go. So we've now done elite task for the current and Cabo diary. Brilliant. But we're not going to get the other ones done because I'm pretty sure this one's the one makes you need 95 Slayer to get the elite ones done. <laughs> and that right there is 70 fishing, which is a big, big level. We can now do leaping sturgeons. But I'll probably just stay here for a bit more. Um, not too sure, but yeah, we're only six levels away now from the goal. 71, fishing. And that there is 72, fishing, which means we can now do nothing, but I've been doing this for absolutely ages, and I'm going to go to bed because it's like two in the morning now. So, uh, yeah, we'll come back with the next level. And as always, to wrap up the video, we're going to uh, open the caskets that we've got for the week. We've got quite a lot because we've obviously been training fishing. We're up at uh, 72 at the moment. Um, so yeah, we've had quite a few beginners and a couple easies. So we'll open the easies first, see if we get anything from them. Uh, nope, we've got some black plate leads though. I don't know if they're needed for a clue. Oh, there we go. We've got a unique already. There we go. Black Shield H1. That's good. And we've got more purple sweets for the collection. I like that. And some salmon for, um, some more health, really. That's good. But yeah, there we go. We've got one new unique at least in this video. So that's all good. Oh, look, he's got the, uh, little golden chinchompa. I'd want that, but I don't think I could be bothered to, uh, do that many hours of chimichompas. Um, we'll do the beginners now, see if we get any of those, if we get lucky. Uh, nothing there, nothing there again, still nothing, more nothing, more nothing. Cabbages, yep, that's brilliant, that adds to our collection of cabbages. Um, oh no, please, last one, good luck. No, we got a pickaxe. Brilliant. So that's why the beginner caskets are not as good as the other ones. But we move on, we move on, but there's only eight of them to be fair. Um, and I think this is the first one of the first videos that we've actually not had a unique in them, so can't complain too much. And we'll sell those bows off to a general store or something because we do not need those. Um, but yeah, the bank's looking quite nice at the moment. Not not looks wise, and it still looks horrible. I haven't done anything with that yet. But the value of the bank right now is thirty eight point three million. And then if we go over to the seed vault. We are ending the new week with 5.89 million in there. So that is very, very nice. The banks decreased quite a bit because obviously I started making potions and the potions on the GE don't sell for as much. But it doesn't matter because we're not going to sell them. Like the super attacks especially. I think they're worthless at the moment. Uh, yeah, they're 92 GP each. And if we've got any irrits, how much do they cost? Uh, there we go, we've got some there. So if we go to examine... And the irrits themselves cost 600 GP. So yeah, that's that's where the loss comes in. Basically, that covers the uh, the Eye of Newton and we lose the value of the irrits. So yeah, we've lost a lot of irrits there. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed, please like, subscribe and um, peace.